Alright guys, now we get into what my friend Anthony Jenkins calls the Batman and Robin of the Chucky films and what I consider to be a guilty pleasure. <laughs> Seed of Chucky. This movie may be terrible, but I can get some enjoyment out of it. And this movie, I thought, think is the most underrated one in the series. I see why Anthony hates this film, but before I let him explain why he hates the film, I'm going to explain why I love See Chucky. Why it's my, one of my favorites. Fourth favorite. <laughs> so, the plot of this film is that gentle Glenn, or Glenda, he's a ventriloquist dummy in the offspring of evil dolls Chucky and his doll bride Tiffany. Both of who are now dead. When the orphan Glenn hears about a film about them being made by his parents, he goes to Hollywood and resurrects them in an attempt to get to know them better. He is horrified when Chucky and his lover embark on a new killing spree, and Ch Chucky is equally horrified that his son has no taste f for evil. This is written and directed by Don Mancini, and this movie... I see, again, I see why people hate this film. I do see issues, but I'm going to explain my positives. Chucky, Tiffany, and Glenn, they all look good. They all look decent. They look pretty great. The voice acting was great. Jennifer Tilly and Brad Dourif and Billy Boyd was also good in this film. They're, Billy Boyd, who he played Pippin, and... um. The Lord of the Rings trilogy. And so I thought they were pretty good. <laughs> Jennifer Tilly playing herself is also awesome. It's cool seeing what she does. Hannah Spirit is also great as Joan. She's also great. You also have director John Waters in here. The director of Cry Baby. He's great as well. <laughs> and <laughs> I... And I do like the kills. The kills are just whatever. <laughs> this doesn't feel like a Chucky movie, but this movie feels like two movies. One great, stupid, and one funny. <laughs> but I have to admit, Glenn is awesome. <clears throat> but I do love the... <clears throat> I do love the part at the end when... At, spoiler warning... Tiffany dies in this film. Chucky kills her, kills her with an axe. And before she dies, she tells him not to make the same mistakes his mom and dad made, especially her dad. And Glenn snaps off and he fights Chucky. And originally they were going to have them work, the two dolls karate fight. It would have been awesome, but it would have been weird. But they didn't have it for budgetary reasons, because the budget on this movie was only $12 million. But, it would have been awesome to see it. Now, the music by Pino Donaggio oh, is good. I like the theme, the main theme. The title sequence is very creepy, though. <laughs> Now, and <clears throat> they do have more references <laughs> to Hollywood and stuff on it in this film, so that was kind of funny. <clears throat> I have seen the unrated version, and <clears throat> I like both versions of the film. <clears throat> but, now I have to get into some of my issues. What is Red Man doing in a Chucky movie? <laughs> Red Man... I like you, you're a rapper, I love you, and how high, and in Scary Movie 3 for your cameo appearance you had in that film. <laughs> but really? Because <clears throat> I don't buy Redman as a director. Because his story with his character is that he's directing a Bible epic and he needs someone to play the Virgin Mary. <laughs> and I'm like, really? And also, this movie also rips off <clears throat> The Shining with, um... Chucky with the axe is like he like in the shining where it says here's here's um Johnny it's kind of whatever most of the kills in this movie are terrible the Britney Spears 
kill. It's not even Britney Spears. <laughs> the only way it could have worked. No, I, I'm not going to say it. I'm not Britney Spears. Doesn't, doesn't It would have not been right. But, and also, I have to admit that the title sequence at the end is a little bit out of place, but I just laugh at some of it. Because it's like a music video. And some of the stuff Chucky and Tiffany does is just completely horrible. I'm going to pass it over to Anthony Jenkins, but not before I give my rating. My rating for this film, I'm going to have to give this one an epic task. I'm sure Anthony Jenkins, he will disagree with me, but it's his opinion. See the Chucky, Josh. Really, we have to review See the Chucky. But you know what? This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do, Josh. Sorry. Sorry if I'm being a little bit unprofessional. The plot of See the Chucky. Chucky's and Tiffany's messed up looking child who looks like David Bowie searches out to see his mom and dad, Chucky and Tiffany. But Chucky and Tiffany argue that it's a child, a boy or girl. Then we have Jennifer Tilly who's playing herself, which is also stupid in this film. This entire film is stupid. This is a stupid movie. This is very, 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 very stupid. I hate this movie to death. This is the worst film in the Chucky series. And people say this movie is better than Child's Play 3. How? How this movie is better than Child's Play 3? This movie felt like a freaking spoof movie by one of the Wayne's brothers. Or one of the Wayne, You know what I mean. Chucky Jack's off? What? Chucky Jack's off, and then Glenn, at the end of the movie, after he kills Tiffany, Chucky and Glenn do this freaking stupid... Track one, though, whatever the heck, whatever karate move they were doing, though, Glenn kills Chucky. And then, five years later, Chuck, not Chucky, Tiffany, Glenn, and Glenda, who's Glenn's split personality. I mean, speaking of that, before I get to the end of this movie, this whole Glenn and Glenda thing was stupid. One minute Glenn's a boy, one minute he turns to Glenda, who's a girl, and next minute he's a boy again. Did I mention the creator of this franchise, Don Mancini, wrote this movie? You're better than this, Don Mancini. Why would you ruin your own character? Explain that to me. Explain that to me. Anyway, I don't care. At the end of the movie, Tiffany, Glenn, and Glenda transfer their toll to human bot. And Jennifer, like I said, Jennifer Tilly playing herself. Playing herself. And why is Red Man in, in, is in this movie? Why? Uh, this movie tries so hard to be funny, but it's not funny. This is freaking this movie is retarded. This is a retarded movie. This movie was so painful to watch again. And then they, at the end of the movie, Tiffany, Glenn and Glenda transport to human human body, and it's Glenn and Glenda's birthday. Glenn gets a present. And as soon as he opens the present, it's Chucky's arm that he cut off at the end of the movie and just chokes him. What? How can an arm package itself unless Tiffany did it? Which wouldn't even make any sense because Tiffany loves her child. And it definitely wouldn't make any sense if a bot ever. But it can't get uh, put itself in the box and just wrap it. Whatever. It's stupid. This movie is stupid. You know what, I'm, gonna get, I'm just going to get to the gray. I'm going to give C.D. Chucky a big, fat, freaking out. Oh my god. Thank god Curse of Chucky saved this franchise, which I'm going to get to next. Yeah, so yeah, that's our, m my review of C of Chucky, our review with my friend Anthony Jenkins. Great YouTuber. Again, check him out on his channel. Please subscribe to him on Twitter and Instagram, anyone who has Instagram. And if you like this video, let us know in the comments below what you think of C. Chucky. Do you, I know many of y'all hate it, but anybody out there who, who likes it, that's fine. But like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys for Curse of Chucky.